What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between the threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come eat, drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alandi. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor name. Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly, you could ride with us. And if everything goes... Okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. from the Mexican army, I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words that the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? 
You just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You look to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, senor master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man or to beat him till he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these aliens to hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of a past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel peeps. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself. Whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price. Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. This rebellion, it is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind the Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid, and like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose, in a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes, he's a traitor, a liar. A coward and a sinner, a hero who has done nothing. I have full more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon, giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for, just to hear people shout his name. Were you ever in an army? Easy. Let's go for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. 
Muy bien, compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. ¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! ¡Levántese, perezoso, que yo para que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. ¡Todavía levántese! Ay, ¡Usted joder. también! Ah, ¡Y allá atrás, muévase! ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. ¡Ay, Dios mío, levántese! ¡Ya mismo! Yeah. ¡Hurry! ¡The train is getting away! I'm wide open here! Eres llorón, maricón, me das asco. Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Su honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito, sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who will help us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you <laughs> A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse. And let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice. Nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja. Que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. 
We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God. And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force, must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, ta, 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 ta. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now you head there and you lend your support. Oso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte, no ponga detrás de mí? ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Follow me. We must hurry. ¿Cómo está usted? Come on. Whoa. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men printing and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying, that's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in any case, you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance and is impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry. You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on, I will race you there. Ha <laughs> ha I thought you were a cowboy. Yeah. Do you want me to slow down? Right behind you. Come on. You surprised me, gringo. Let's go. Bien, very good. Come on. Come on. We are close to Tesoro Azul now. If my men are dead, the rebels will all die. If they're alive, they have failed me, and the rebels will all die. So, I guess we ain't taking any prisoners then. Traitors must be made to suffer. Shown that we will not tolerate the rebellion any longer. We are animals. We will slaughter them accordingly. Right behind you! Escuchen como cantan el tiro. Idiota! Pero que haces? Idiota! Por qué tardaste tanto? Y quién es ese gringo? Octavio, por favor. Cada hombre ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun.
Heard the little horse crying in that house over there. Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos. Buen trabajo. Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. You heard the captain? The fire bottles are over there. Where are you, imbecile? Why don't you follow me? What are you waiting for? Burn it down! Go on! Burn it down to the ground! Mr. Marston, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the men you seek. Come. I have men waiting for us. Just outside Escalera. Vamos! What's the hurry, DeSanta? Where are we going? The go? rebels have taken control of an abandoned port on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men. A place called Torquemada. We can allow them to establish a stronghold. The Coronel has given me urgent orders. Which are? To kill them all. I should have guessed. Leave your horse here. You will ride with me. Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Abraham Reyes tiene un verdadero ejército. Let's go, now! Captain Espinosa already has men there. We must get to him before he tries anything stupid. near to Torquemada. Stay alert. Something doesn't feel right. Rebels! Hold them off! We're not far from the camp! Captain, it's Azora Azul. Is he leading this attack? Leading? Espinosa does not lead anything. I thought you was the same rank. He is an angry dog we let out to run sometimes. That is all. I'm in charge here. Follow me. We will lead the wagon here. hombres se habían habido encargado, nos atacaron. Ten cuidado con ese hombre, su master. Come on, ignore this hombre. Shut your mouth off this boy. Gringo, take that sniper rifle over there. 
Help at the blockade! Fire! 
You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend! Wait! Wait! Stay with the group! I'm afraid. Let's go! 
Sea, mujer. Amigo, amigo, ¿qué pasa? Uh, 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 Killer like you, uh, he serves fine women and wine. The best pleasures earth can give a man. <laughs> I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and so we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. Go get drunk, go get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs> Yeah. 